Welcome to UniversalCribbage.com. In this video, I will teach you how to play standard cribbage. We will be using the Universal Cribbage board, which has a continuous track of 121 points for each player. The first player to peg out at 121 points wins. Black and white begin with two pegs each in the starting point of their lane. We begin by dealing six cards to each player. We will reveal the cards of both players for the sake of learning. Don't show your cards to your opponent in a real game, however. The cards on the bottom of the screen are for the player using the white pegs, and the cards at the top of the screen are for the black pegs. Each player keeps four cards in his hand and discards two cards into the crib. The dealer will later use the crib cards discarded by both players as an additional scoring hand. In the example game here, white has dealt first and will receive the first crib hand. One of the main ways to score points in cribbage is by creating combinations of cards that total 15. Aces always equal 1, and the numbered cards are equal to their face value, and all face cards are counted as 10. You can also score points by creating pairs, 3 of a kind, 4 of a kind, and by making runs, which are essentially straights of 3 cards or more. You can also score points by creating flushes, which is a hand with cards of all the same suit. And there are a couple of other ways that I'll explain as we move along. Let's look at Black's hand first at the top of the screen. He has a combination of 15 with his ace, the 4, and the king, and also with his ace, 6, and 8. Black is going to decide to throw his 3 and the king into White's crib and keep the ace, 4, 6, and 8. White, the hand at the bottom, has a potential double run with his 6, 6, 7. If an 8 or a 5 is cut in the next part of the game, this creates a good scoring hand. White also has a 15 combination with the 3 and the 2 6s. White decides to throw his ace and king to the crib. The crib cards are set to the dealer's side of the table. The non-dealer grabs at least 4 cards off the top of the deck and leaves at least 4 on the bottom, and the dealer flips the top card. This card becomes the cut card and is placed on top of the deck after the non-dealer puts the cards he picked up back down. The cut card will be used later after each player plays all of his cards in the pegging or card play portion of the game. The non-dealer discards first in card play, and in this example, Black plays his ace. When he plays his card, he announces its value by saying, 1. Next, White discards, attempting to score points by making pairs, 3 of a kind, 4 of a kind, etc. White plays one of his sixes and announces the total count, which is now seven. Both players continue playing their cards until the total number reaches a maximum of 31. Black now plays his eight and says 15 for two. Every 15 combination scores two points, so Black moves his rear peg ahead of the first two spaces. White now plays his seven and scores three points by creating a run with the eight, seven, and six. Runs do not need to be played in exact order to score. When White plays his 7, he says, 22 for 3. You will see the points tallied in the next frame. Black now plays his 6 and also scores 3 points for a run. Note that he does not score points for a double run. Those are only scored when you count your hand or crib. The count is now at 28, so Black says 28 for 3 and scores 3 points on his side of the board. You always score by moving your rear peg ahead of the front peg the total number of points you score. White now plays his 3 to make a total of exactly 31, which scores 2 points. White plays the 3 and says 31 for 2. Please note that these points are scored in the next frame. I'm still working on my video production skills. Anyway, after a 31 is scored, the count is restart at 0 and Black plays the first card in a new count. Black plays his 4 and White follows with his 6. Whoever plays the last card in card play receives one point for last card. In this case, that point goes to white. Now we count the points in each player's hand. The non-dealer always scores first. Each player gets to use the cut card as a fifth card when scoring his hand. Black's hand scores a total of four points. He has one combination of 15 with the ace, six, and eight and an additional 15 with the ace, 2, 4, and 8. Next, the dealer counts his hand. White has a total of 8 points, a pair of 6s for 2 points, a 15 with the 3 and the 2 6s, and two more 15s with the two combinations of 2, 6, and 7. Now we look at White's crib. White scores well here. He has a run of 3 for 3 points with the ace, 2, 3. You score a point for the total number of cards in a run. In this case, that's three. 
White also creates 15 twice with two combinations of 2-3 king. He also scores two points for the pair of kings for a total of nine points. Now we deal again. This time black gets the deal and the crib. White's choice is pretty obvious here. He keeps the fours, the seven, and the eight. He'll get points for the pair and the combinations of 15. Black's choice is clear too. He'll keep the three, the pair of sixes, and the nine for the pair and the 15 combinations. Crib cards are set to black side, and white picks up some cards and black flips an ace of spades. In this case, the big ace of spades won't add any points to either player's hand, but it will help a bit in black's crib. White leads with a four. Black plays a nine and says 13. White plays his other four and says 17. Black plays a six and says 23. White lucks out again and plays his eight, 31 for two points. Black starts over and counts three. White plays the seven and says 10. Black plays the six and says 16 and scores a point for last card. The non-dealer, White, scores his hand first. The pair for two points, 15-2 with the two fours and the seven, and 15-4 with the 8 and the 7 for a total of 6 points. Black's hand scores 2 points for the pair of 6s, 15-2 with the 3 and 2 6s, and 15-4 and 6 with the two combinations of 6 and 9, a total of 8 points. Black now scores 4 points from his crib with the two combinations of Ace, 4, and a face card. Now the deal goes back to White. Black has a clear choice of keeping the 2, 2, 3, 4. This is called a double run. It scores two runs of three plus the pair for a total of eight points. White keeps the ace, two, three, and the queen. He'll score three points for the run and another two for the 15 combination with the 2, 3, queen. Crib cards go to white side and an ace of diamonds is cut. This gives white a double run of three and black a double run of four. Black plays first and leads with a 2. White plays his 2 and says 4 for 2 and scores 2 points for the pair. Black plays his 2 and says 6 and scores 6 points for 3 of a kind. White plays the queen and says 16. Black plays the 4 and says 20. White plays the ace and says 21. Black plays the 3 and says 24. White plays the three and says 27 and scores two points for a pair of threes and one point for last card. Black scores first and receives 10 points for a double run of four, which is essentially two small straights of four for four points each, plus the pair for an additional two points. White scores eight points for the double run of three, which is made by the two small runs of three plus the pair of aces. And additionally, white scores two points for the 15 from the two, three, and the queen, and an additional two points from the 15 from the two aces and the queen, for a total of 12 points. White scores just two points in the crib with the 15 created by the six and the nine. Black deals the next round. Both players here have such good hands, they can pretty much disregard what they throw in the crib. White will hold the five and the three jacks and throw a pair of nines to Black's crib. Black will hold the five, five, six, seven and throw a three and an eight into his crib. White cuts the deck and Black flips a three of hearts. White leads with a jack and says 10. Black plays a 5 and says 15 for 2 and scores 2 points. White plays a 5 and says 20 and a pair for 2 and scores 2 points. Black plays another 5 and says 25 and 3 of a kind for 6 points and scores 6 points. Black plays his 6 and says 31 for 2 points and scores 2 points. 
White starts the count over and plays a jack and says 10. Black plays a 7 and says 17. White plays his last jack and says 27 and scores one point for last card. It was a disappointing cut for White, but nonetheless, White scores 12 points with the three different 15 combinations and the three of a kind. Black scores eight points for the double run of three, plus an additional 15-2 and 15-4 with the two combinations of 3-5-7, for a total of 12 points. The cut worked out well for Black's crib, who scores eight points with the two pairs and the two combinations of 3-3-9, the total 15. White deals the next round. It's tempting for Black to keep the ace 2-2 two, two jack, but he doesn't want to throw a 6 and a 7 into White's crib. So he'll keep the 2-2-6-7 two, two, for the pair of 2s and the 15 combinations. White will keep the 4-6-6-9 six, six, and throw the king and the queen into the crib and hope for a 5 cut. Black cuts the deck and White flips a 7. Black leads with a 7 and says 7. White follows with a 9 and says 16. Black plays a 2 and says 18. White plays a 4 and says 22. Black plays a 6 and says 28. White cannot play any additional cards without going over 31, so White says go. Black can still play an additional card, so he plays his 2 and says 30 and scores 1 point for last card. Since White is now the only player with any cards left, he can play both of his 6s and say 12 and score 2 points for the pair plus 1 point for last card. It's a great cut for Black who scores four 15s on the two six seven combos and also has two pairs for a total of 12 points. Not such a good cut for white, who only scores six points with the pair of sixes and the two 15 combos with the sixes and the nine. The cut didn't help white's crib, who gets three points for the run of three, jack, queen, king. Black deals the next round. White is going to opt to keep the ace 3-4-7 so that he doesn't have to throw a 7 and a 9 into Black's crib. Black is going to keep the ace 2-3-9 and throw a pair of 8s into his crib. White cuts the deck and Black flips an ace. White leads with a 4 and says 4. Black plays a 2 and says 6. White plays a 3 and says 9 and scores 3 points for the run. Black plays an ace and says 10 and scores 4 points by extending the run to 4 cards. White plays an ace and says 11 and gets 2 points for the pair. Black plays a 9 and says 20. White plays a 7 and says 27. Black plays his 3 and says 30 and scores 1 point for last card. White scores 6 points here with the pair of aces and then the two combinations of 15 with the ace 3, 4, 7s. And Black scores 8 for the double run and then an additional 15-2 and 15-4 for a total of 12. And he gets those 15s with the ace, two, three, and nine. Black's crib scores just two points with the pair of eights. White's turn to deal this round. Black is going to keep his double run and throw his three and his seven into White's crib. White is going to throw a pair of sevens into his crib and hope he gets lucky in the crib and maybe gets a ten or a queen as a cut card. 
Black cuts the deck, and white flips a king. Black leads with a jack and says 10. White follows with a jack and says 20 and scores two points for the pair. Black plays his 10 and says 30. White says go because he cannot play another card without going over 31. Neither can Black, so he takes the single point for go. White starts a new count and plays his king and says 10. Black plays a queen and says 20. White plays a jack and says 30 and gets three points for the run of three, jack, queen, king. Black cannot play another card without going over 31, so he says go. White can also not play, so he takes the one point for a go. Black starts to play again at zero and plays his queen and says 10. White plays the 9 and says 19 and scores 1 point for last card. Black scores 10 points for the double run of 4. He also scores an additional point since he holds the Jack of Diamonds, which is the same suit as the cut card. When any player holds the Jack that is the same suit as the cut card in his hand or crib, that scores 1 point. White scores only four points with the two pairs, the pair of jacks and the pair of kings. White scores six points for the three sevens in his crib. Black gets the deal for what will likely be the final round. Even though white will score first since black dealt, these cards do not bode well. White will hold the pair of sixes and the pair of tens and throw the rest to the crib. Black also doesn't have much of a hand. He will hold the aces, the two, and the queen and throw the eight and the nine in the crib. White cuts the deck and black flips a five. White plays a ten and says ten. Black plays a two and says twelve. White plays a 10 and says 22. Black plays an ace and says 23. White plays a six and says 29. Black plays his ace and says 30. White can't play, so he says go, and neither can black, so he scores a point for the go. White starts the count over and plays his six and says six. Black plays his queen and says 16 and scores one point for last card. White got a good cut with the five, but not enough to win this game. He scored two four for the 15s plus another two four for the pair of sixes and the pair of tens for a total of eight points. Black scored two points for his pair of aces and another two points for the 15 with the five and the queen for a total of four points. Black needs just two points in his crib to win, and he goes beyond that. He scores two points with the 15, with the 5, and the queen, and two more points with the 15, with the 2, the 5, and the 8. Black is the winner. Head over to UniversalCribbage.com and purchase your Universal Cribbage board, and learn how to play new games such as 500 Cribbage, Dealer's Cribbage, 